How does EMDR differ from brain spotting or rather brain spotting from EMDR? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a question I get up to, so that would be a good one to respond to. Um, I trained in EMDR many years ago and uh, found it to be a really useful approach to really get to some deep processing with clients. But some of the things that I mentioned earlier about the reactions sometimes being too strong, clients sometimes finding that they could be re-traumatised uh, through EMDR, it led me to want to perfect the approach really or to find another layer, another level to it. Brain spotting has really given me that opportunity. With brain spotting, we're not using eye movements like we might in EMDR. We'd be more like to use a still eye point because when a client's looking out, they're also looking in to a neural network, to a cluster uh, in the brain that's holding on to perhaps traumatic information. So with brain spotting, we're using a very precise method, a very precise method to access the area of the brain and the information that we want to. So we can process that through. And that seems to be a lot more manageable for a lot of clients to do that. The second part of the dual attunement framework, there's the brain part, but then there's also the relational part, is also key. So we're not following any protocols or procedures. All we're following is the client in brain spotting. And this also seems to have a very powerful effect in processing the material whilst the client is still in the safety of that uh, therapeutic relationship. And for me, that's probably the key difference between those two approaches.